Yo, what's up guys? You got Pokey in here with an OU showdown live. Oh man, we're gonna be using the Star Raptor team that my boy Finch passed me. I mean it's <laughs> it's really like a standard Latios uh zone bulu type build, but then it has a Star Raptor on it, so that's what makes it super cool. Uh but it's fly MZ Star Raptor. I could easily make this thing choice ban and nuke, but then I'm gonna die anyway. So I kind of like the idea of flying MZ um, because like a Brave Bird into Z, Brave Bird will knock out Landorus, things like that. And I can roost up on fatter stuff. Of course, the fatter stuff can burn me with Skull, but oh well. We also have Choice Scarf, Magnezone, Mega Latios, which are Defogger. We have a AV Bulu and we have Mega Horn because um, Draco Mega Latios is a threat. Then we have Toxic, Landorus, Therian Form, and Spikes Greninja with a really interesting EV spread that was not explained to me. Uh, but that's completely fine. We'll look for a battle. By the way, uh, I mean, this Thursday, Zero and I are going to be doing uh, Pokemon Crystal Nuzlocke. If you guys don't know about Zero, he's pretty much the rank one uh, Smash 4 player. Retired a little bit, but still does uh, streams. And yeah, we're going to be playing. It'll be a lot of fun. So all the information is right in front of you. Uh, I'll probably be promoting this on all my videos just because I, I want a lot of support because Zero's going to be on the front page of Twitch that day. So <laughs> I don't want to be overwhelmed <laughs> by the Scarf Army. Uh, but yeah. Should be fun. Um, man, if I was Scarf Star Raptor, that'd be really nice in this. Uh, thankfully, I don't have Rock Slider. Wow, okay, that, that makes it a little bit harder. Hmm. Do I just lose to the, the Volcarona at plus one? Okay, I'm going to lead off with Greninja. Now, I'm leading off with Greninja because I need to U-turn out on Lele. Lele is a great lead versus me, by the way. I need to U-turn out on this because I need him to know, assuming he's Choice Scarf, I need him to know I'm Choice Scarf. I can't Gunk Shot here. I need him to know I'm Choice Scarf because I can bluff the Rock Slide later. So, U-turn right there. I, I, I'm, I'm about to stay in the chat. I'm Scarf, bro. Like, yeah. And, uh, Bulu sounds good. Honestly, I want to go Magnezone and find out if he's Scarf or, uh, or specs or anything, but I throw it off a moon blast, which is no big deal. I don't have rock set on this either. I'm gonna double out Star Raptor here. Not expecting the heat ram, but I was actually I wanted we know he's scarf right there for sure. Uh, because I was scarf as well and I switched out second. Uh yeah, just throw off a close combat. Why not? Nuke this thing. Ideally he goes Volcarona after to try and set up on me. Or you know, he just kills me right there. <laughs> That works too. Hmm. This is really tough because, like, I need Star Raptor. I didn't necessarily need Star Raptor to break, but it would have been nice to break through Lando. I think what I should have done was U uh, turned out mainly into Latios. That was my, completely my bad. Uh, but I should U turn out into Latios right here. And we're going to Mega Evolve and go for Psychic. I don't want to throw off an Earthquake because I don't want him going Lando on me if it's Scarf, and that's like Rock's Trant. And plus, I mean, if I bring in Lottie directly on you, chances are you're going to fear me going for. Uh, um, you're going to fear me going for Earthquake uh, versus you. So I'm assuming what he's going to do is he's just going to go for the Nature's Madness right here. I'll bring on Magnezone uh, as the HP on Magnezone does not matter. Uh, and I don't want AV Bulu taking too much damage because that's my Lele check. Those Landorus, that should not matter too much because that means I can go Volcarona and get up my rocks. Uh, if you HP Ice is a very good play. But it just opts to U-turn. I mean Earthquake, excuse me. So that gives me the Stealth Rock, and that means that I pressure. I pressure him a lot with this. So I'm assuming you're gonna go for your Z move here, if anything. Um, Magnezone is easily my most expendable member. Again, Bulu checks Lele, it checks Gyarados, and plus we know that's Mega Gyarados. Oh my Magnezone ate that too. I'm pretty impressed. I would just go right for the Flash Cannon, put him in range of Psychic. And the great thing is, uh, Tapu Fini is also in range of Psychic, like that's at 47%. So he doesn't switch in super well to that mod. Um, assuming he doesn't opt to stay in right here and click Earthquake and knock me out. Perfect. That boy flew up in the air. I'm not sure why. Does that kill me? I feel like it doesn't. <laughs> Four times resist, yeah. So this is awesome. Um, I can see him going Tran, but I mean, this gives me Latios as a switch in anyway, and I get to click Earthquake now. Uh, Landers is guaranteed in range of my attacks. Ice Beam might be able to sleep him, even U turn. Uh, but I'll 100% go uh, into my Latios right here if he wants to go for rocks. Throws off a Toxic, very smart play. We'll go for Earthquake here. I'm not going to bother predicting something to come in, especially because Earthquake and the Psychic knocks out most. And if I get rid of Heat Ran, I think we more than likely deny rocks right there. Plus, we should still be able to get rid of Top of Lele. 
Uh, Ghost Feeny, I'm gonna go up for this roll because yeah, last time it did 47%. So my opponent just gave me two Pokemon, and that means my rocks are here to stay. Brings out the Lele, which he should. I can sack my Magna Zone here to the Moonblast, and uh, I don't want to go Landers. I think I'm gonna go Gren into uh, Gren into Bulu. I don't want to Ice Beam, yeah. Gren into Bulu makes the most sense to me. Um, but because he does go Landers, that means I can actually go uh, Lottie. Again, I'm trying to keep my Landers as healthy as possible. Um, and the Lele is in range of U-turn now, which is amazing. So even if he wants to switch back on to Lele, I don't care. Uh, this is Psychic. This Psychic is going to hurt anything. It's going to hurt anything. Gyarados hasn't Mega Evolved yet. And the fact that Volcarona has to come in on rocks means I'm not going to get, you know, straight up swept by it. Assume you're going to go Lele now. I'm going to keep my Landers alive for his Gyarados. Psychic. Go Gren. We also know he's not Z-Move Volcarona. Uh, I'm still going to probably lose to Volcarona. Like, honestly, at the end of the day, I feel like I'm going to lose to Volcarona. Then again, if this, this U-turn continues to do the exact same damage that I'm praying it does, it will be good. Oh, he goes hard Volcarona. That's amazing. That's absolute. The burn doesn't matter either because I go route to Landers right here. If he brings in Gyarados, I have my Bulu to deal with it. Yeah, I knew it would be Leftovers or something like that along those lines because he already uses Z-Move. Uh, so we could just click Earthquake here. And if he switches out, then great. You go Gyarados and I can get off a... Uh, I can get off potentially a toxic. I don't. I feel like you don't sub versus me. I mean, I go. That that doesn't matter at all. Basically, we were thankfully able to deal with the Volcarona right there, and um, goes Gyarados. Shouldn't matter too much. I go Bulu as he goes for Dragon Dance. I mean, you could be a regular bounce, but you can't be Z bounce, so that doesn't matter either. I'll knock this bad boy off out right now with the Wood Hammer. Hey, we were not flinched either, which is fire. And um, I win the game guaranteed. I should be able to win the game guaranteed now. Yep. I go Lando. And in order to make sure a crit doesn't lose me the game, uh, what I'll do is... No, I'm pretty sure Ice Beam from Grenadine is going to knock it out anyway. I just go Bulu and click Horn Leech. I don't think a Moonblast... Oh, Moonblast Karachi might have knocked me out. Good game, dude. Nice. So, I mean, I, I was able to prevent the Volcar on a sweep. Which, you guys saw, it, it six of my team, man. I did not have a rock move on my team. I had a flying type attack, but like, that, that thing would have been such a huge problem. So, I, the fact that he went top of Fini and went off that roll, and the fact that I got the roll was so big. Like, I would have lost that thing easily, 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 if I didn't get that roll. Um, I like my opponent's team, because of course I like Metachamp. I'm going to leave Lander just to get up my rocks, and hopefully Toxic. Um, but leads Weavile, which isn't too big of a deal versus me. I mean, I do have Scarf uh, Zone. I can see him going for Knock Off now if he wanted to. Uh, though I'd go for Ice Crash, but I think Zone losing its Scarf is fine. A nice Knock Off play, well played. But now, like, what? what how do you switch into this thing? <laughs> now I don't even have to predict anything. And I get an unfortunate crit on the Landers coming in. Uh... I do U-turn because I have my own landers. Why do you, why do you forfeit? Okay, I know the crit is bad, but it's not like the end of the world. First off, your Weavile comes in and claims a kill whenever it comes in. I have trouble knocking out your mans. I mean, at this point, yeah, this game isn't over at all. Like, why, what do you... Uh, welcome back, buddy. I'm HP fire. Expecting the U-turn, yep. Yeah. Ideally, he goes Feral, which makes no sense because it wouldn't... I mean, it would take a Flash Cannon, but... Yeah, Coco makes a lot more sense, I think, too. I still don't do a Feral that well, either. I like Zone in this game. Thunderbolt knocks me out. Specs Thunderbolt knocks me out. Not HPI, a Flash Cannon here. Uh, I think a Specs Thunderbolt will knock me out. I don't think anything else will. Or if he goes for Roost, this is going to do over 50, easily. Yep. I'm assuming he thinks I'm just going to keep clicking it, so I'll bring in my... 
I would never HP Ice here. I mean, I have Latios, but that's going to be my way of, like, pretty much revenging uh, Metacham either. I should really know that how much Thunderbolt does to my Magna Zone, but, you know, I don't care. <laughs> I should actually calc it while we have time. I mean, if I lose my Magna Zone, I lose my Magna Zone. Um, I'm assuming because it's Roost. Oh, it actually wasn't Z. I go for Google Havoc. Smart man. I want to bring a Star Raptor and click Brave Bird so badly. Guys, I think... I'm gonna bluff the, the Scarf Star Raptor. I think I'm gonna bluff the Scarf I'm gonna lose my Star Raptor, but the thing is why this is cool is because if he goes out into Feral Thorn, Brave Bird into Z, Brave Bird should knock it out. I'm bluffing the Scarf Star Raptor. Come on, Gatorall, you, you need this Pokemon. <laughs> you needed that Mon versus me, damn it. I'm so bad. Thankfully I have Toxic, so I won't lose to uh, Mantine. She ends up going out into. We'll go Lando. Click Stealth Rock. I'm assuming he might fear the the Z Rock move, which he should. Yeah, I'm so bad, guys. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna click HP Ice now. I won't die to his own HP Ice. I won't die to Explosion. <laughs> Yo, man, come on, man. I know Double Scarf isn't like the most common thing, but I would have feared it. You think he's gonna kick me in the face? I can't actually afford to lose Lando because I need to toxic that thing, otherwise I'll lose to it. I'm gonna make the Greninja play. If he kicks me in the face, I lose. Hey. All right, that, that's another way I can lose too. Well, that's that should be a guaranteed loss. <laughs> As he goes man time, maybe not, maybe not, maybe not. Because I'm able to get out the toxic on man time, which is fire. Um, and if he's, yes, he is able to defog, but I can still get up my rocks. Uh, I don't see my way of beating Ferrothorn, but that's still fine. Yeah. Rocks me out there. I can bring in Bulu and click this Wood Hammer. Ideally, you drop. You go Pharaoh. I have to see your power anyway. Um, I'm going to need to thaw my Greninja if I want to win. Especially because at this point, Weavile comes in and claims one. So ideally he's really greedy right here and clicks Icicle Crash and then stays in as I thaw. Like that's my that's my way of winning. He stays in as I thaw. Well, he just choked to get away the game, but unfortunate. <laughs> I shouldn't have done what I did with my Star Raptor, but I really wanted to lure the uh, the Pharaoh Thorn, especially because I lost my mana zone there. It's alright though. Sometimes you play aggressively and it doesn't work, sometimes it does. But basically that turn right there was a throw on his part. Because Weavile would kill every single one of my members whenever it came in. So if I did, um, you know, thaw, 10% chance. But if I did thaw that turn and knock them out with the U-turn, which I would because it's Protean and whatnot. Um, I would be able to keep my rocks and I would be able to go like Mega Latios or something. And threaten something. But this dude's team is scary. Where's my Cartona? I have Magnus on. Okay. Double Scarf. Lee Grin. I want to find out some information about his team. Uh, leads Lando. I'm going to click Ice Beam. I do not care. You have a Volcanion, yeah. I don't. I mean, I have Mega Latios, so I switch in decently to it. And if you're Scarf Lando, I don't want him getting away with going for the going for U-turn. So, go for nice Protean Ice Beam on top of Coco coming out. Why does that have to do 49%? Why couldn't you do just a little bit more? Uh, we'll go Bulu. As he roosts. Okay, that's cool. That's good information. I'm actually going to Mega Horn here, expecting him to U-turn into uh, Latios. I would. As he goes hard Lando. I don't think that's a Bulu switching, but I mean, I guess on Nature's Madness, it's a Bulu switching too. Are you flying MZ? Thankfully, my own Landers is only here to check his Landers. Nice set, nice set. I'll do the exact same thing. I'll get my rocks first, and then... If I'm faster, I'll HP Ice next turn. Because um, Mega Lottie is a threat, right? Nice hard Greninja. I'm going to make the... I don't want to make the Nine Zone play, but I feel like he'll spike. I just don't want to go Bulu if this is Scarf. Because like, that could easily be Scarf. And... Ends up going for a spike, though. That's fine. I'm going to double out to uh, Star Raptor here, expecting him to want to go Lando. And then I should be able to claim a kill. 
Latios comes out. I don't think Thunderbolt will knock me out. I want to click Fly MZ so badly. I'm going to do it. Like, Double Edge is scary for him. And if he Mega Evolves and goes Landers, this is awesome. I get to nuke it. So I'll be able to prevent rocks from my opponent. Look at that. Landers just died. Woo! So we prevent rocks from our opponent, which is amazing. Um, obviously, he still has Greninja to spike up on me. It's Protean Gren. Ice Beam should knock me out. U-turn. If I risk my Gren and he goes for U-turn, I'm in a super bad situation. I feel like Bulu eats the Ice Beam, but... You know what? Because it's Protean, I'm going to go Magnezone. Even though I need Magnezone healthy for Kartana. Yeah. Let me just Bolt Switch here. Oh, and he's... Ah, so he's not Scarf. Wait, so your team just loses to... Volk just like mine. Okay. He wasn't Scarf. Oh, crap. Okay, that's bad. Um, because this one, I needed that for Cart. Did I switch out before him? Would I have known he's not Scarf? I don't think I switched out ever before him. Shoot. I need that for Cart. I mean, my, my Greninja can check Cart, but... Ice Beam is going to nuke me. Oh, boy. And I'm probably going to... I can mean, gunk shot too. Just gonna wood hammer. Do some damage and then mega horn in the following turn. Uh, okay, gunk shot. Maybe gunk shot. This has, uh, I have a Latios, so that's fine. Thank God I have mega horn. That did nothing. But, hey man, as long as I keep hitting. Yeah, hold up. He can't recover the next one. And rocks are up too. You gotta click recover too. Hey, give me the roll. Give me the roll. Wait, 59? Woo! Mega Horn on Bulu showing its worth right there. Mega Latio's gone. Not bad. Big Volcanion comes out. I'll go Latios on my own. As long as I keep Bulu alive, I shouldn't lose to Coco. Nice, so we'll click Earthquake here. I'm clicking Earthquake because I'm worried about Greninja coming in. Um, it also do a good chunk to the uh, Volcanion, though I'm pretty sure it's Shuckaberry. But if he lets Volcanion take the hit, I think Coco's Shuckaberry too, to be honest. Ah, boy, was not Shucka. At this point, Star Raptor is slower than everything, and it looks to be the most expendable member. So we'll sack it right here. As he goes for Roos, very nice play. Can Thunderbolt and knock me out. I'm gonna go Bulu. Because I can click Horn Leech. Sack Star Raptor later to Coco. I'm actually gonna click Super Fire. I think it doesn't make sense to stay in with Coco. And you should go Hard Cartana. Yeah. Hey, that's some big boy damage. And I have one Pokemon for this, and it's my Rocky Helmet Lando. <laughs> yeah, because Bulu beats Coco. Um. Lottie beats Volcanion. You can go ahead and click that. That's fine. My Earthquake here. Oh, and he's not even Scarf. Awesome. Hey, so I mean, that would knock him out either way, but that's amazing. We're able to get rid of that. Beautiful. And I can just go right out into Scarf Greninja, which I know he's not Scarf, and after Stealth Rock, I believe I knock him out. Goes Volcanion. Good play, good play, but that's a Pokemon that's not going to be able to come in much anymore. Hydro Vortex me, ooh. Smart man. I'm going to click Earthquake anyway. Uh, Coco will die at the range of that. Greninja doesn't have another switching. And uh, his Volk isn't a problem anymore because that's one more switching. So uh, basically, Greninja can't come in on me anymore, and I can just sack my Star Raptor here and then go out into my um, go out into my Gren, click a U turn, which will knock him out because it's Protean boosted. If he goes Coco, I bring in Bulu. If he stays in, he dies. And we also know his Z Move Mon was um, Volcanion, so we know it's not Scarf. So Latios, which literally only deals with this Pokemon left. Uh, I just come in, click the Earthquake, knock him out. He goes Coco, I click Earthquake again. 
He goes Grand. I click Earthquake again because we know it's not Battle Bond, it's Protean. Just keep clicking Earthquake here. Go Bulu, mash this Horn Leech, and win the game. Yum! Hey, and he knows his Greninja at that point dies to my own Scarf Greninja. Nice. So we're able to win that one. Woo! And, and Star Raptor got a nuke, which is exactly what I wanted. Star Raptor got a nuke. That's what I wanted. On Lanners, oh, that's so big. Preventing rocks. And, and Mega Horn Blue actually showing its worth too, which is fire. Okay, so it kind of sucks that we don't have double edge for this game because that'd be nice for Zapdos. I'm thinking Scarf Grin, uh, Bandit or Specs, Stealth Rock, hopefully Trapped by Magnezone type stuff. I'm definitely leading Greninja versus his squad. That's just a fact. Uh, if he leads off with his own Greninja, oh, he leads Hoopa, so that's the best case scenario for me. I get a U turn here. Ideally, you stay in and just die. I want to click Ice Beam so badly, but he goes Silver Steel. So, okay. So this, I'm, I'm, I'm probably not going to beat it 1v1 with Magnezone, but actually I might. Hold up. He's Walk On. Is that Earthquake? Oh, come on. How do I beat this Mon? Why do you L E L? Lil. I don't beat this, uh, this Celestilla anymore, by the way. Like, my team legitimately can't beat Celestilla. Then again, I didn't have the best matchup anyway. Like, it's pressure and then. I don't have Nature's Madness either. Ideally, Bandit Star Raptor scares the hell out of him. Earthquake Protect, Leech Seed. Goes Garchomp, which eats that up. Are you gonna eat up this move too? You more than likely will. But I know your defense is just based on that, uh, that damage at least. So if he wants to get up his rocks, it's cool too. Just Brave Bird after. So Star Raptor gets up a kill, but uh, Greninja's gonna come in and pretty much uh, mess me up. I should have Volt Switched uh, versus the... I think I should have Volt Switched versus the Celesteel first, but I don't know what I would have run out into. So that was my bad. He could be Protean Ice Beam too. Damn. He's uh, the other set, but that still doesn't help me much. Because you get, you get in Venusaur here. I mean, I have to bring in Latios. Celesteel makes sense too. Um... I don't see me breaking through his team, so I'm just going to forfeit right there. Yeah, I can't break the team. So I should have Volt Switched to Magnezone, but I didn't have a, a switch for that anyway. But at least if I would have known if he was Walk-On, I would have Volt Switched into Landorus and then, you know, went back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. That was interesting, though. Good tech. I mean, I think Shed Shell does the exact same thing, <laughs> but you don't have to get hit by the attack. But uh, thank you, friend. Well, it looks like I'm going to get beat by a big fan because this big fan has Volcarona and Rotom, which is a good defogger versus my team. Nice. Actually, I'll lead Raptor. Leads Gren. Scarf Gren, most likely. Just because I see Protean right there. Ice Beam coming out, and I don't have a switch in. If he wants to U-turn, that's fine, too. He can low kick as well. I mean, if this is the same low kick one as the last one, I can't beat that either. Uh, at least not with Mag Zone. How do I not lose the Volcarona? Again, I'm going to have to play the exact same thing and try and bluff with Gren. It's going to be harder than this one because I... Rocks are going to be hard to keep up. It does U-turn. Okay. Not... Wait, what? Torrent? That boy's Torrent. I know you're not Ash. You're female. Is that a mistake, bro? <laughs> Alright, about to say it. So, I'll bring in my Grin. Just made the team like two seconds ago. Ah, no problem, dude. Um, and I kind of have to go for the gunk shot right here. I have to. I'm pretty sure it'll knock him out. I want a U-turn so badly, expecting him to fear it. But like, that damage on, uh, that damage on Volcarona is really tempting, man. And if I land this gunk shot and he stays in, I think I knock him out. Because it's a stab. 
uh, especially based on that bolster's damage. He's obviously offensive. Plus, this does a good chunk to Rotom as well. Yeah, it makes sense. Uh, I mean, I, I get a second chance, but that sucks. That sucks. Alright. One of those two are coming out, so we're gonna go Lando here. Why would you double bug bites? And crit me again! Why why would you sack this? Now I'm worried because I don't know how to beat this. That miss just threw me off completely. I know he's not gonna sack this either. He's gonna go out into one of those because now they beat me. Um, or maybe he was thinking he could beat me with it after. I really wish I hit that the first time because now I'm going to lose to Mawal anyway. Um, yeah, I don't see myself breaking through Mawal. He should just go Mawal and set up, bro. Yep. Damn, man. Hitting that first gunk shot would have cost. Got rid of the biggest threat by the entire team. I would have had so much leeway. Oh, Ghost for Swords Dance. Hopefully he forgot his Mega Stone. <laughs> um, don't know why he didn't uh, Mega Evolve, because my Staraptor didn't have Intimidate. Not sure why. What's up with that? Hey, if you don't Mega Evolve here, you're going to die to Thunderbolt into Woodhammer. Yeah, down goes Zone. Um, that's a loss for me. Yeah, that is a straight up loss. That Gunk Shot miss just like was so lame because I had to make the aggressive play anyway then again I guess I could have went for the uh, good game I guess I could have went for the uh, just double gunk shot and then switched hard into Lando but I didn't want to give him a gear nut which already has which my team already has problems with uh, momentum because once that thing comes in ice beam hits my entire team oh well so just life we live and learn all right let's see what we do in this one I just want a powerful star after to do some damage. I'm assuming it's Mega Latios plus Vantar. Like that's what I'd be on this, but you could easily make it Scarf Lati plus uh, Megatar. Both of which work. Gren easily has the highest speed tier here, so it's my best lead. Um, I don't have to think too much about what my opponent can lead with. Only bad thing would be if he leads Titar and goes for Pursuit. Luckily, I'm male, so he might not know if I'm Battlebot or not. Getting up rocks to. Yeah, getting up rocks puts a lot of momentum. Oh, that's fire. This is perfect. So easy U turn as he goes mag. Okay, cool. And what I'm gonna do is. That's probably Assault Vest. I'm gonna go out to my own Magna Zone and I'm gonna weaken him with the Volt Switch right here and go Lando uh, if he wants to predict this very solid play. I mean, it's pretty obvious too. But I'm assuming he's just gonna Volt Switch itself. But I'm just trying to weaken him to the point of Earthquake. If the ice beam's here, great play. Yeah. Now I'm gonna get on my rocks. Perfect. Okay. So we chipped away at Magirna. Uh, it's actually in range of being two at KO by Latios now, like for sure. And I'll be able to chip away at his landers. Ideally, his landers is slower than mine too. Ooh, I get so much out of this turn. I get so much out of this turn. Yeah, I'm, I'm 231 speed. Unless you're hitting that exact number, you are two at KO'd, my friend. And then we don't gotta deal with that. Ooh. Beautiful. Goes Latios. Just gonna eat this up. I'm a toxic here. Cause I wanna I don't want him roosting. I recover the same thing. Hey, so we get the toxic off on Latios, which is amazing. I know that I know my Bulu can eat any hit right now, so I'm gonna go Bulu right now. The great thing is I always get up my rocks versus his landers because mine is faster. Ice beam is gonna hurt, but it's not gonna knock me out. And Psychic isn't the end of the world. So we'll actually Megahorn here, uh, just in case. Are you, uh, what are you? Well, I might be able to trap you right now. Is that Specs? I mean, it doesn't matter at that point. I'm trying to trap him. Yep, he's Scarf. Or Specs, he's one of them. <laughs> uh, either way, we get the Magna Zone. So that gives my Magna Zone a little bit more leeway here. Uh, though, he could easily go Tyranitar and just click Bandit Pursuit. Very solid play. I'm going to go my own Landers here, though. 
because if he does quick pursuit then I get in lander sort of a little bit of momentum this is definitely Bantar probably crunch my bad bro that blows and he's gone I don't I, I'm gonna lie I'm not gonna lie guys I don't think he would have won um, I I know it's only 6-5 uh, it would have been 5-5 five, five there but like the, it's already all set for me to win it's AV Magirna, which is already in range of being 2-hit KO'd by Earthquake. Uh, his Lottie was going to lose to my uh, Greninja clicking U-turn. Whenever Bulu came out, it pretty much claimed one. Um, and his Landers, which was defensive, was already in range of literally every single attack on my team. So I don't think he would have won from there. But we won't end it on that, even though I'm pretty sure that was a W. And I like how the team, the text of the team, we're going to put in right there too. Like Toxic on uh, Latios. Uh, so I don't lose to Bulu even if, or he doesn't so I don't lose with my Bulu even if I miss my Mega Horns because I can just Horn Leech plus Rack off Toxic uh, Kartana I guess it might have been Scarf but Madness only either traps it or Greninja revenges it very very well oh come on not this I really really don't want to fight Veil plus Belly Drum Lax because I don't have ways of dealing with that I'm gonna lead Gren and I'm gonna hopefully click my Gunk Shot turn one and and get it off, but he can lead Landers to be Sash. Yeah, that has to be Sash Lando. I'm U turning. I don't know how I beat Lax. Oh, oh. maybe I get to go up to my powerful Star Raptor and just click Super Sonic Sky What close combat was a play I can make, man. Man, I could have easily closed counter you. What the hell? I don't get that play. It's a Snorlax. I mean, guys, just Bray Bird hit everything else. Yeah, you're probably just predicting me. Oh, whatever. I'm going to try and get on my rocks here. He could be SD Boom. That works too. Well, the explosion is coming out. Uh, I don't want my Magnus to take it because I want that to revenge the Lottie. So I'll just. I don't even have Nature's Madness on Bulu. Uh, we'll sack Star Raptor here. Assuming he's just gonna explode. Okay, this works too. You're giving me massive damage on you. Uh, we take those. Whoa! Yep, there's the explosion! And Greninja is probably the only play I can make. Now we'll deal with Ninetales. Land, one. Thank you. So that'll knock out Ninetales. Which means we don't have to deal with Veil, but that doesn't mean that I'm, not, I'm gonna be able to beat Snorlax. I'm, I'm letting you guys know that right now. That does not mean I'm gonna be able to beat Snorlax. I might be able to beat Snorlax though. We'll see right here. I actually have to Toxic him. Like he's gonna get plus six right now, but I have to Toxic him. Ideally, this is not ADV Snorlax with immunity, which would actually beat my entire team. Please land, because I know you have. To, you should go for Recycle with your Lax. That's your play. Recycle right here is the best play. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, that's okay. So he's going to take a ton from this. He's going to recover, but he's not going to be able to recover enough to eat Latios to hit after. Because he's going to be taking Rocky Helmet, he's going to be taking Hail, and he's going to be taking Poison. I'm pretty sure Latios is Psychic knocks him out. I'm actually a little bit scared now. Latios is the most expendable member on the team, though. So. Even if it doesn't knock him out. It's fine. Uh, I didn't want Bulu coming out because I don't want to invite in Pinsir. And if he recycles, that's fine too. Like Latios, like I said, is the most expendable member on the team. Oh, that's perfect too. That's perfect. He gave me Scarf Zone right here too. Perfect. I expect, I'm guessing he expected Draco or Psy Shock, but yeah, Mega Latios was the most expendable member and it was literally only here for Magna Zone. It loses to everything else. And because it's Mega Pinsir, I'm assuming that's Scarf Latios. He's going to attempt a Healing Wish. Alright, so we're bringing Bulu. There's the Healing Wish. Back out into uh, Young Laxinator. I'm going to go for Megahorn first. Because I think it's the only one that doesn't put him in range of... Yo! Uh, dude! So what I could have done right there was... 
a Mega Horn, right? And then I think I Super Power Wood Hammer, I knock him out. Now I have to Horn Leech. I guess he's not 1v1ing me technically. I was trying to keep him out of range of that berry. Yes! Yeah, that's completely fine. Hey, screw this Latios. Nah, bro. Right back out on the Bulu. Go ahead and go for your belly drum right here. Or recycle. Hey! There we go. So now we beat the Snorlax. I'm not about to lose the Pokemon I uploaded with. Mana Zone goes down too, which is amazing. And if Snorlax comes back in, it doesn't get its recycle. Woo! Ba beat down. Perfect. Perfect. Nice, 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 nice. Nice. Happy we didn't lose to the Lax. Lax is fun though. I use it. I think that the last LU live I uploaded, I used Lax. Go hard pincer. At the end of the day, I have Volt Switch anyway. There you go. Just go for the Volt. Is there a reason to not Thunderbolt here? There is actually zero reason to not Thunderbolt. Um, I'm out of range of Quick Attack from his pincer, and I'm pretty sure I'll do a KO Magnezone anyway. And there's no one move that Magnezone can lock itself into that beats AV Bulu, a Magnezone at full, because I know he's Scarf Magnezone, and um, a Scarf Greninja, which can always play U-Turn twice and knock him out. Well, U-Turn into Ice Beam to knock him out. But nice. We're able to win that game. Beautiful. We didn't lose to the Snorlax team. Well, hope you guys all enjoyed. Star Rath was fun. It didn't get to do as much this live, but I mean, it was just based on the teams we fought. Like, what can I do? Um... Still a ton of fun, though. If you guys did enjoy, of course, feel free to leave a like and subscribe. I'll see you guys next time. Uh, check out the... Well, basically, get ready for this. Why don't you just on your calendar? Because this is going to be a lot of fun. I'll see you guys next time. Bye, my friends.